Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. Let's go ahead and start right where we left off last episode. We just finished the ninja subquest. Now, I actually need to change that job. So we're going to start out with a little bit of maintenance work. So if you want to hold for the story, just give me a minute here. Let's go to Agnes. Now we'll change her from a monk. I think I'm going to go ahead and change her to a ninja. Yeah, I think a ninja would be cool here. So she is now a ninja. I will, we'll do that stuff later. Now I have to put in some thought of if I want to change anyone else to anything Okay, else. so I've thought it over. I just really don't have the heart to change anyone else into anything else. So I guess we'll just have to go to... Um, we'll leave her as the ninja. Let's see. I guess right now... The ninja... What does the ninja have as far as... She doesn't have anything. So we'll leave her support abilities as that. So then we just have to go to her equipment, and she favors daggers. So, a dagger is these two. So let's see, the kunai is the best, and we just so happen to have two of them. So that's literally perfect. And then, now we have to... F let's see, is this gonna... Okay, no, none of that's any better. Would any of these be better? I don't think so. Okay, none of that's better. And the power bracers are... Uh, I think that's perfect. Okay. So. And then her... Oh, we do need to change her special because she's now in the ninja class. So, if she's going to be using these... I think... I think that's everything. So, we'll have to go to the grand ship now. Yeah, as far as my thoughts, I can't change Ring Bell off the white mage. I need a healer. Agnes is now the ninja. I need a spellcaster. So, Adia has to be a spellcaster, right? I can't make her a time mage. That's terrible. I can't make her a summoner because they're also not that good. A Valkyrie would be cool, but again, she needs to be a, a magic user. Red mages are terrible. The salve maker is useless because I can compound with another character. I don't need her to buff. I need her to do damage. So black mage she stays and then as far as tiz honestly i want to change him to something else but i don't know what else he could be the only other option so not a thief not a merchant spell fencer might be cool but i don't want him to change to that i could change him into a valkyrie but i feel like he's been really good as a knight i don't know why but i just i kind of want to change him to a valkyrie Let's go to his abilities. So, we might, we'll might we have to change these because the Valkyrie... So I guess Sword Lore I'll have to change. What, what can I put on him that protect... Okay, so I want Protect Ally on him there. These two are good. Two-handed. Okay, so that's perfect because he's going to use Spears. Okay, so his aren't that bad either then. Let's, let's see. We need Spears because that's what we need to use. And these are, these are terrible Spears. So we basically just need to change, we need to find some good spears here. You know, I'll leave Agnes up front, why not? Um, let me go, actually they wouldn't sell anything good. I need to find some good spears. Can I buy some good spears? The spear. I guess this is the best we have at the moment, so let's just buy two of these spears. Let's equip th these for now, because it's probably the the better... Yeah. 95. That's the best we have right now. Next time we find some good spears, we'll make sure to replace it. Okay. Alright, so, two move changes. Agnes is now a ninja, and Tiz is now a Valkyrie. If I don't like it, I'll switch him back. Well, I'm going to keep Agnes as a... You know what, then I'll, I'll say this. If either of them I end up not liking, I'll switch them back to Knight and Monk respectively, but I want to try Ninja, and I want to try Valkyrie. Um, Alright, so we're, we're going back. Am I are, am I healed up? I'm not even healed up. Okay, well, we'll go to the inn at the other place. Um, really? Let's see. Well, let's just do normal attacks. Actually, I'm curious on how much damage they do. So actually, let's use this as a test. Okay. 
honestly, that's not that's not terrible compared to the monk. And especially if she levels up, she'll just get even better. So that's not even terrible at all. Okay, and yeah, and they're gonna start learning abilities pretty quickly since they're basically at the beginning of their job. Um, let's go to magic. Oh yeah, Tistolus is white magic, so I could still use the cure. Let's go ahead and cure everyone here. And yeah, you know what? They'll they'll have to, you know, level up their own job. So we just have to be patient and give it a little while. Maybe next time, maybe I'll have to grind sooner than I thought to maybe just get their jobs higher. Let's get, let's get um, let's get everyone. Let's see. Oh, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna miss the night class. I'm definitely gonna miss it. But technically, technically, he still has the ability to protect a critically low ally. He still has that ability. So I guess the one part of the night that I liked, he still has. So maybe it's not that bad. But yeah, honestly, as far as the Valkyrie goes, the only other thing I would change him into is... Maybe... Um, maybe a pirate? Maybe? Or a sword master, maybe? I haven't seen you lot in a while. I heard about your exploits, though. Zatz told me all about it. He and his mates stop by for a drink when they're around. Stop by later, okay? I'll give you a special treat. Okay. Oh, let's go to the inn first and save while we're here. I don't I don't want to, you know, jump into something without actually being prepared here. And just when will you look into this matter? No, you see, we are still deliberating whether or not to begin an investigation. Well, when will you finish deliberating? We shall have to discuss whether it is appropriate to bring deliberations to a close at this point. What is this about? You've got to hear me out. Lately, the whole town feels like it's tilting to one side. I've been trying to get the council to look into it. But they've been stonewalling me for the last six months. The town's tilting? I also get the feeling it's slowly sinking. I used to get two hours of sunlight in my room each day. Now I get none at all. Grandship is... sinking? Is that even possible? Hmm. We'll have to look into that. But first, let's go take a nap. And yeah, I don't. I have to decide when I have to go gr when I should go grinding because I already grinded today for like two hours in preparation for the uh, fire temple. I don't want to do more grinding so quickly. Oh, and I also uh, talking about jobs. I don't think Tiz will be a Valkyrie for long because there's another job coming up that I want to change him to, so just keep that in mind. He probably won't be that for long. So if you like the Valkyrie, enjoy it while he's on it. Oh, there you are. I can't give you any liquor, but you can help yourself to anything else on the menu. Are you sure? That's very generous of you. Make yourselves at home. I've taken a shine to you all. I'll have the braised shanks and spicy seafood steak. Fluffy cheese omelette, please. Oh, and a palatial parfait deluxe. Sautéed wild pheasant and the slow-cooked country-style stew. Um, sweet herb and nut porridge and some jam-slathered toast. Sure thing. Hang on a second. 
what was that? We've been having that a lot lately. Grand ship might be finally coming apart. I want to check that out. Oh, that was a big shake. How long ago was Grand Ship built? They say it's been three or four thousand years. Basically, a long time ago. Wow. It's that old? All right. It's all ready. Help yourself to see yeah. of course. Might want to check the go. boat. Let's eat. Okay. That was a feast and a half. Is that all you're having on, yes? You eat like a sparrow. I lived by modest means at the temple, and I still get full very easily. Say, proprietress, do you have any plans tonight? Shall we take a stroll on the deck and listen to the waves? <laughs> What's this guy on about? There we go again. That sound gives me the ship. The owner of this diner should be the main We're character. To it here. The whole town floats on the sea after all. It's nothing out of the ordinary for it to creak and sway a bit. Yeah, but should it be though? Why are zats and dats out to sea? <sighs> I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. You ate too much, Tiz. I can't believe you put all that away. Do men always eat such volume? Well, I guess so. I haven't pigged out that much in a while, though. I see. Quite an appetite. Oh! Good of you to stop by. Hi there. Greetings. Ah, the Wind Vestal. Rare to see you both here together. The usual dads? No, I'm good today. I'm glad we ran into you guys here. Huh? You'd best flee the ship soon. Flee? Agnes, proprietress, hold on to me as tight as you can. I'll support you. I'm good, thanks. Then you, Eri. I can fly, fool. The ground shaking does nothing to me. Hmm. No need to be shy, girls. This place is sinking, and it's going down quick. They're in a panic up on deck. That's not good. Right, let's head out then. I love how they're like, we need to get out quick, and they're still at the bar. I guess. What's happening? Do we go up here? Yes, we need to go up here. Real quick, I don't think so, because this is a shop from earlier in the game. They don't have any better... Okay, they don't have anything good. Okay, fair enough. What is happening? Say, didn't Ringabel's journal say something about an engine room? Maybe this is it here? <clears throat> <clears throat> But it won't open. I'll check the journal again. Hmm. Nothing's changed. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Let's all look. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Found something? What language is it written in? I can't read a word. Same here. It's all gibberish to me. 
Can you read it, Agnes? Wait. This is the ancient language of the Crystal Adventists. I can only make out a few words. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Engine room door. Heart of the ship. Requires... Oricalcum. Ship will rise? Engine room door. It must mean this door. Oh, I remembered something. Huh? Eggo, that Oricalcum you picked up. So we need Oricalcum to power the ship? I was say, if we need Ori Calcum that bad, uh, Tiz has an Ori Calcum male. Why don't we just take off his armor and just shove that into the ship? But hey, May maybe we need the raw ore. Sorry, I'm mistaken. Maybe we can't just shove refined Ori Calcum inside the ship. Maybe we need raw, the pure energy of the Ori Calcum. Either way, we have to go to Eggel. And hopefully, he'll give us the orichalcum that he picked up at the mine. I'd be surprised if he still had it. But I mean, if he still has it, that's perfect. What kind of... Well, I guess... I was going to say, what kind of kid just finds a shiny rock and holds on to it? It's the stupidest thing I've ever said. That was me as a kid. I found cool rocks and I held on to them. I still have some probably right around here somewhere. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> You're looking well. I believe I have you to thank for that. I'm very grateful. Egil goes to the training hall at the castle every day about this time. He should return soon. I'm back! Oh, it's you guys! I have a favor to ask you, Eagle. Can you let me have that orichalcum you found? I know it's a lot to ask. We would really appreciate it, Eagle. Oh, please. No need to ask so politely. Of course you can have it. Are you sure? I get eggs for dinner every day here anyway. I can train and go to school as well. All because you rescued me from the sword bearers and brought me here. You needed to help someone out, right? In that case, it's yours. Thank you, Eagle. I love how the, everything in this game comes full circle. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the grand ship. Hopefully we can stop it from sinking. And hopefully we can soon get this um, airship back into the sky. Because right now it's only ocean. And before we go back in, let's go ahead and... Um... Oh, I can't save. Okay. But we can save up here anyway, so it's not that big of a hassle. Let's go ahead and give it a save -a room. Okay. And I don't think I need a heal, right? No. Every we haven't even fought since the last time, so we should be good. People's HP went down for changing classes, right? Yeah, sadly. Okay. Well, through some grinding, we'll have to get those HPs back up. Worried that we're following instructions in Ringabel's journal and that old manuscript without knowing what we're doing? We have to act, whether we like it or not. What will happen to that poor proprietress if we can't keep the ship afloat? True. Yeah, you're right. What's our next move? The heart of the ship could be somewhere deep inside the engine room. We have to place the Orichalcum in there, I guess. 
Hold on. We don't know what will happen when we do that. Shouldn't we have everyone evacuate the ship first? You're right. It doesn't look like this door has been opened in a while. Anything could happen. There are 298 lifeboats in Storage Hold 89. It was written on the first page of the Council record. So the Council members use those boats to escape. Good grief. It can't be helped. Let's split up and lead the townspeople to safety. Heard that loud and clear. We'll take care of the townspeople, don't worry. Wow! So this is what the inside of the council hall looks like. You all head on into the engine room. Yeah, the council people tend seem to be very um, hard-headed. Zat's name. What about my name? Why do you ask? I know Zat's mighty is an awful impressive moniker for a little guy like me. No, no, that isn't. It's fine, buddy. I don't mind. Don't worry about it. Zats and I both. Our names are weirdly at odds with our builds. Always have been. We used to get teased a lot as kids and we'd pound the kids doing it. Normal kid stuff. <laughs> I can picture it. Having an... Oh. Alright, you, you lost all your memories, didn't you, Ring a Bell? Uh, and I don't know if Ring a Bell is supposed to be a given name or a family name. Yeah, it's very tragic. Now stop talking. Dats and I talked about how we wanted to just ditch our names. Wanted? In past tense? Yeah, my old man's funeral. Everyone who came by to talk to me said the same thing. He he was a little man with the biggest heart I've seen. He never ran, even from losing from a losing fight. He was the sort of guy to, talk, oh, to walk up to a bigger man and sock him one in the gut. My old man wasn't big, but he was sure as heck mighty. I could feel it that day, something important handed down from my grandpa to him to me. It was like I could hear him telling me it was my turn now, my time. I understand that feeling well. All Vestals adopt the name of Oblige. Like you, we continue the chain connecting past and future. Golly, my name's nothing to compare to a Vestals, but thanks. The way I see it, something I didn't care about at all turned into something I like, that's all. And you still punch anybody who makes fun of it just as hard. Ain't that the truth? Ooh, engine room. Okay. I've never seen an elevator like that. How far down did it take us? That looks like the beginning of Chrono Cross. My ears are popping like crazy. This must have existed since the time that old manuscript was written, but it still looks in working condition. You know, I have a really bad feeling about this. <sighs> yeah, this little entrance here <clears throat> looks exactly like the beginning of Chrono Cross. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Close enough. Alright, what kind of battles we got in here? Okay, let's go ahead and set up a... Um an ability here. Let's just do normal attack, normal attack, normal attack, and then normal attack with a Dia. We'll go ahead and <clears throat> let's just do some. What are these guys? Water? Let's just do some thunders. Just so we can save MP here slowly. <clears throat> with Tiz, we can just do some normal attacks. Hopefully that thing doesn't have high evasion. And then we'll just do some arrows with Ring a Bell. Alright, and that will be our autos here. Hopefully we can kill this thing in one turn. Let's see if we do. Like I said, these are new classes. Um, Anya seems to be doing just as much damage as usual, but Tiz seems to be doing a little less damage than the Knight, but I'm sure he'll, you know, he'll fall into that. Plus, these jobs will level up really quickly if we just fight a lot, so I'm not too worried about it. And I plan to take most of these fights. Because I don't want to fall behind. Guess there's a lever there. Anyway, what I'll do is if... Just to get these over with, I'll even speed up these fights. If there's a new thing, I'll show it, but... Realistically, I think we... I could speed up these fights and it won't really be a problem. Okay. 
So thunder is its weak point, so these are water types. Which is fair enough. Okay, so we got that to go down. Chest. Thousand peak. Okay. We got another stairway down. Oh, these are new. How much damage do we need to do to these things? Oh, ow. Okay. Yeah, but even, honestly, even Tiz isn't doing, like, a small amount of damage. He's doing fine, so... Honestly, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, fair enough. Levels up. Yeah, let's, let's get those, uh, job levels popping. Okay, so I can't seem to get to that lever just yet to open up... I'm guessing that lever opens up that door at the other side, so... We're gonna have to make our way around until we can get to that. Okay, we got a zombie here. Take care of him. Ooh, Fang Rush. Actually, is a lot of damage. I'll have to watch out for that. I don't. I want to make sure I don't die here. Okay. Let's make sure we heal after that fight because we actually did take a bit of damage. Um, let's see. Magic. Go to Tiz. White magic. Let's use Tiz's magic just so. I want to save Ring of Bells. Ring of Bells magic is the most important. Okay, nothing in there. see what's in this chest. A gold hourglass. Hey, stuff we can use for compounding, so ain't too mad about that. Let's go ahead and keep autoing here. Yep, yeah. Anyas is doing some good damage. Totally not mad about that at all. Yeah, let's get some thunders going. And we'll, we'll, we'll level up those jobs slowly. I'm not worried about it. Like I said, the Valkyrie is going to be a little annoying because... Um, we're probably going to take them off of it next chapter. I'm not going to tell you guys anything of what my plans are, but... Okay, there's the lever. Okay, that opens up that... Well, we need to get both sides of the door, so we need to go to the other staircase now, too. Ooh, we've never fought that before. A dark stomper. Okay, well, how much... Okay, so it's not even much stronger than the other ones. Which is fine. But yeah, I can't wait until we hit the next store, because I want to buy Tiz some brand new spears. I think, I think he'll, he's in need of some new spears. Let's keep going down. Okay, now we have to walk all the way around. But it's alright, like I said, we'll just take some more battles and, hey, we'll call it a day. Uh, oh, I can also go that way. Let's let's go that way before we get out of this place. Ouch. Okay, another easy battle. Shouldn't be that hard. Honestly, I wish Adia was slightly faster than Ring of Bell, because she does her, like, really strong damage. At the same time, though, I would want Ring of Bell to be fastest, because he's the healer, and usually healing is desperate. Damage isn't as desperate. Turbo Ether? Okay. I love those. If I'm ever stuck anywhere, those things come in, come in extreme handiness. More zombie sharks and more remoras. No problem. These things don't have a crazy amount of HP, so... I'm not really... Not really bothered by it, although we do need to heal soon. But Adia will take care of both of these if they don't die, so... It's not that big of an issue. And I could kill him even quicker if I used my level 2 spells. I just, I really want to make sure to save MP, because I plan to take all of these fights, I need to have good MP management, and using the strongest attacks every time is not a good idea. Okay, so now we need to go to this other one, probably gonna have a fight before we get down there, psych, just kidding, I, I forgot what it's called, reverse psychology the game. Okay. More of the same exact fights, a little boring, a little repetitive, but you know what? Gotta grind for them job levels, you know? I wonder if... If I'm gonna change Tiz anyway to something else, I wonder if I should just try and level up an ability that would be good overall, and then... Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about it more later. Chest? 
Although I guess I should think about it now because when I do it later it'll be too late, but whatever. I'm not gonna overthink things here. Ooh, these things, the Monodon. These things are a little stronger than the other two. Or I think, ooh. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to heal. Dang it, I forgot to heal. And Tiz died because of that. But it's alright, we won't, we won't, we won't die because Adia's got it. But I totally forgot about healing. So, magic. We will just use an item because I don't want to use the MP. And then we'll even use Tiz's magic to get everyone up and running here. Okay, there we go. Chest. Cross axe. Okay, that's cool. Can't use it. I don't have a pirate. Well, I can use it, but I shouldn't use it. Okay, let's go this way. There's another blue chest. Ooh. There's another blue chest that I cannot get until later in the game. I haven't fought three Dark Stompers before. Ooh, their weak point is air. That's good. Do a little bit more damage, you know. Hopefully Adia will be able to take these two out. Oh, okay. That will do. That will do, donkey. That will do. Okay, blue chest that we cannot get. Nothing is in this one, and the chest is in this one. Trident. Ooh, is that any better? It's a good spear. Is that any better than what we have now? It's somehow not. Wow. Okay. Maybe our villagers are a little overpowered. Because those are the ones that we actually bought from the villagers. Oh, let's go ahead and auto these guys. Same thing. They didn't do that much damage to us last time, so I probably don't have to worry about them this time either. Evade is higher, but you can't evade my magic, so that sucks for you. And the only ones left are the two magic users. There we go. We got the Ninja and Valkyrie all the way to level 5 already. We're making way. Okay, let's go in this one first. Hammer mace. Ooh, that could be equipped to... Oh, this is this is probably used for the compounding people. Okay, well, we don't have any compounding people, so... Yeah, I forgot. I guess I didn't realize. I'm like, wait, which weapon does the compounding person use? Because they're not a physical attacker, but they're not a mage. I guess a combat mace would make sense for them in that case. Let's just get rid of these Dark Stompers and call it a day. Okay, cool. We're on our way. Let's go over here. Nothing there. Where's my lever at? Ooh, okay. More zombie sharks and remoras. <clears throat> Please die. Ooh, a critical. Okay. Alright. Okay. And then one spell by Adia, like usual. And we made it. Alright, where's the staircase at? I think I'll need to go up one more. Okay, chest. A Rakari. Um. Ooh. Let me see. Is that better? A Rakari? Let's have the Kunai. No, that isn't any better. Okay. Then I'll leave the Kunai on. Honestly, I'm really glad I picked up those two Kunai, though. That helps a lot. Okay, so there's the stairway to open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and go to that. Let's so just open up that first, and then we'll check out the other two places. Get these out of the way. Dia, finish them off. Easy. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I would usually not take all these fights, but just in the spirit of trying to get those job levels up, I feel like I probably should. Okay, up one more. And the lever should be here. Perfect. And that'll open the door to where we need to go to. 
probably to the heart of the ship, if I'm correct. Okay, let's head back. And we have a little bit more to explore. We just need to explore the other... The other pathways, but... Ooh, the Monodon. Make sure to get rid of these. I don't want them to actually use their use their things. Ooh, Anya's took out one all by herself. That's crazy. Ouch. Okay. Let's go down here. All right. So we checked out that end. So that's not that important. We just need to check out this other bend real quick. Let's make sure to heal. Cure. Okay, so he Ring of Bell's almost out of mana, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, cool. So, real quick, I'm just going to do this just right now because I want to get to that end over there. Let's go ahead and turn, turn encounters off. Let's go, because I've got a lot of walking to do, and I don't feel like walking this entire time. Let's go and again we'll come back for that blue chest on this level later because right now it's really no use can't do anything with it it is currently locked okay we need to go back over here I already opened that chest okay and if we go up here that is where we need to go real quick I don't know why it looks like that on my map. Did I? I checked out this. Oh yeah, it's just the beginning of the. There we go. I was wondering why that piece of the map was missing. I'm like, why? Okay, guys. But I think I'm gonna end off the episode here because we're running a bit long, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment and support the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.